Hey guys, JB here with another Destiny 2 Tips and Tricks video. It's time to look at Xur's weekly inventory. Just a heads up, this is your place for daily Destiny 2 content here on YouTube, so hit that subscribe button and stay tuned for Destiny 2 Tips and Tricks videos. Today I'm going to share my exotic recommendations for Xur's September 29th inventory, so let's get started. This time, Xur appeared on Io in the Giant Scar, so you'll fast travel to this landing zone and find him chilling in a dark cave, which is classic Xur, am I right? Looking at his inventory, this week's weapon is Risk Runner, an arc submachine gun that goes in your energy weapon slot, which was one of the exotic weapons in the beta. This SMG has low impact and low reload speed, but compensates for it with decent range, stability, and great handling. The fire rate is really where it shines, though, shooting at 900 rounds per minute, with with a good mag size of 41. The intrinsic perk is Arc Conductor. When taking arc damage, this weapon becomes more powerful and resists incoming arc damage. Kills extend the time in this overcharged state. So this one is super helpful because a lot of basic enemies and their weapons deal arc damage. So probably more useful than most people realize. The trait is Super Conductor. When Arc Conductor is active, shots fired have the chance to become Chain Lightning and return ammo. If you played the original Destiny, you remember this effect is very similar to the Zalo Supercell Exotic Assault Rifle. That was one of my favorites in the first game, so I'm glad to see a similar effect return. So essentially with Risk Runner, as long as you're being damaged with the arc element from an enemy, you deal more damage, are resistant to arc damage, shots will chain between enemies, and you'll get free ammo back. This is an absolute machine of a weapon when used in the right situations. It just requires that the enemy, again, is dealing arc damage. A lot of exotics have super cool mechanics like this, but they're not all that useful. I think Risk Runner is one exception though, especially given how powerful you become in particular scenarios. So if you don't already have Risk Runner, I would grab it right now for 29 shards. The Hunter armor piece this time is Mechaneer's Trick Sleeves, which is not specified for any one Hunter subclass. Its armor perks allow you to focus entirely on mobility or sacrifice some for a little resilience. The intrinsic perk is Spring Loaded Mounting, increases sidearm ready and reload speed. To me, this is just not very good at all. Sidearms are hit and miss, no pun intended there, but there's not one sidearm that absolutely blows me away, let alone warrants that you put on an exotic piece of armor specifically for that purpose. And that's exactly what these trick sleeves require. They're useless unless paired with a sidearm, which is far too specific for my taste. I really don't like super specific exotic perks. That's what you get with the Mechaneer's trick sleeves. The only scenario I would consider these in is if I get my entire fire team to run Rat King, you know, and you get the bonus from that, and energy sidearms as well, just for the hell of it. The legendary mod is pretty good, though, increasing your mobility stat if you decide to get these. So, if I wasn't abundantly clear, I don't like the Mechaneer's Trick Sleeves. I think it's one of Bungie's worst exotics in the game. It's just bad overall, and it's not good for the Hunter either. So, personally, I would pass on these unless you really love using a particular sidearm in your repertoire. For the Titan piece, we've got Hallowfire Heart, which is for the Sunbreaker Solar Titan. Its armor perks grant strong mobility and resilience, or let you lose some resilience for a bit of recovery if you'd like. The intrinsic perk is Sunfire Furnace, greatly improves the recharge rate of your solar abilities while Hammer of Soul is charged. That'll affect your grenade, melee, and class abilities if you're curious. So just to be clear, you only benefit from this effect when your Sunbreaker Super is fully charged and you're not using it. It's one of those save your super and don't use it in order to get the special effect type of exotics. I dig the whole min-maxing concept, sacrificing one thing to get a boost in another, but I'm really on the fence about this particular concept because supers are so powerful regardless of what mode you're in. Clearly in Crucible, they can turn the tide and shift the momentum of entire match if you get a four-man with your super. You need to be using them as much as possible. And in PvE, you have a little more wiggle room, I feel, and I think that's where you consider something like Hallowfire. Additionally, this piece has a solar impact mod, which lets your solar melee abilities recharge faster. Hellfire Heart is a toss-up for me. If you main a solar titan, you love to play Sunbreaker, you may want to go ahead and pick this up just for the utility of it in case you want to use it. Otherwise, it's not a world-beater exotic in my book. 
Last but not least, we have the Warlock piece for the week, Transversive Steps. This leg armor is not specific to any Warlock subclass, so you can use it as you choose. The armor perks give good mobility and a bit of recovery, or a small amount of all three. Its intrinsic perk is Strange Protractor. While sprinting, movement speed is increased, and energy weapons are automatically reloaded. I really like this perk for several reasons. First, you're almost always sprinting when you're not in combat. Destiny involves a lot of sprinting between enemy encounters, and even when you are in battle, sometimes you'll be sprinting to cover or flanking around your opponents. It's a natural thing that you're going to be doing a lot already. Second, increased movement speed and energy weapon reloads are almost universally useful. I can't imagine a single situation where I wouldn't like to be running faster. That's always a good thing. You can pair a really good exotic energy weapon like Risk Runner, for example, with these legs and benefit greatly with the reloading aspect too. Again, it activates every time you sprint. You really shouldn't have to reload at all that point. Also, the legendary mod grants a bit of recovery as well. If I'm a warlock and I don't have these boots, I'd grab them right away, especially for Crucible where movement speed is even more important. Transversive steps are a great warlock exotic. Alright guys, today I shared my recommendations for Xur's September 29th exotic inventory. In the comment section below, tell me what's on your shopping list this weekend. I grabbed the Risk Runner because I love the Chain Lightning, and if I had a Warlock, I would absolutely be buying Transversive Steps. So, share your choices in the comment section below. Next time, we will cover more Destiny 2 here on the channel, so stay tuned for daily Destiny 2 tips and tricks videos. If you learned something new, remember to hit that like button and subscribe for lots of Destiny 2 content. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll talk to you next time.